In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Angular HTTP service by showing you an example of pulling the weather using a free weather API. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer-related tips. And now, let us get started. For that tutorial, I created a new project and I called it Weather. And now it's opened. So let us start by opening the HTML inside source, app, and then app component HTML. And I'm going to put here a text saying weather app. And after that, I'm going to put an input text box. The type is going to be text. And inside of name, I'm going to put the ng model to bind it. If you don't know or you need more information about ng model, please check the description. I have a full tutorial for it. And I'm going to bind it with city name. Now I'm going to create a button. And inside this button, I'm going to make an event, which is click. So whenever the user clicks, it's going to trigger another function called search city. And let us put the text like search and we close the button. Let's save it here. And everything looks okay. Now let us go to the next step by opening the app component.ts file. So first I will start by importing the HTTP. And after that you're going to put from the Angular HTTP. Let's save it now and see if there are any errors. I know that there is an error, but it's always good practice that you save all the time so you can see if there is any error. And you can see here that this one is not there. Why? Because the H should be capital. Okay, now it's working fine. Second, we're going to create the constructor for that HTTP. So it's private, then I'm going to call it HTTP and it's going to be from the HTTP that we created. And that's it. We open and close the brace brackets. Now I'm going to create the function which is called search city, which we did it in the HTML. Search city. And after that inside it, first of all, I'm going to call the HTTP by saying this.http.get since we'll be using get this time. And inside it, I'm going to use the API that I got it from the site. And here the query is showing London. But instead of this, I want it to be bind to that city name. So I remove London. And instead I'm going to put plus city name, which again, we got it here from the HTML city name. And the function is search city. Okay. So now we have the city name and still it's not working, right? Why? Because we need to create it at the moment. So I'll be going before the function and I say city name equals, I'm going to leave it empty that way. And here, if we save, we're going to find an error because this one is inside the function. Let us save it. It cannot find the city name. So instead, you're going to say this dot city name, which is the one inside. Let's save again. And there is no error now. Okay. So after that, we need to subscribe the return. To subscribe the return, we will be using subscribe and after that we'll be using something called response so i'm going to put the response that way i'm going to call it res and from response but then the response it need to be also imported so after http i'm going to put a comma 
and then I'll put response. So now I'm going to declare a const by doing equal and then you open the braces again and inside it you're going to say const and after that I'm going to call it weather city which is the one comes and then we're going to get the response which we did here with the JSON format. And since so far we don't have any output on the screen, I'm going to do a console log to check the weather city. Let's run it now. So I'm going to try and put London, search, and I'm going to right click and check the console. Okay, so now I have an object and inside that object I have London and everything inside it. Let's try something else. If you go like Paris, search, then you will get another object which showing everything for Paris. So let us now check if we want to, for example, output the humidity or anything else for Paris. So inside main, there's humidity, there's pressure, there's the temperature, and there are a lot of other things. So let us start by declaring the city humid. I'm going to start it by letting it empty and then inside here I'm going to say again this dot city humid equals and then it's going to be the weather city dot main dot humidity which we found it here inside that. So inside the HTML I'm going to add like h6 or something and I say humidity and then I put the city humid. Let's close it and save. Now let's try it by saying London. Okay, I'm sorry, it's very small. Let's change the six into two or something and save again. Say London and that's the humidity. Paris, that's the humidity. So that's it for today, guys. Until we meet again, bye. Angular has a very promising future and job market which will keep increasing. Do you agree? Please comment below and share your thoughts.